Uh, next, we have Vilic from Gray Area Labs, and he's going to be presenting Shadow Cities. Hi, guys.
my vicinity. There's a, there's different different neighborhoods. It's kind of like a dystopic world, right? Um, there's there's different different neighborhoods. Uh, I can see that some players have taken over. Uh, Playgram lockdown has taken over uh, Bailey. So what I can do is sorry, we can't see the screen. Oh, sorry. Two reasons. Okay, so I can cast spells. I'm gonna you know try to destroy that. There's no sound normally we get the sound. Uh, we don't want the mics. So I'm trying to destroy that. I can also take over uh, different neighbors. Let's see if there's one where we can you know, cast a different spell. We have developed this uh, pattern recognition algorithm that's like built for touch. Uh, uh, you can also kind of pattern around, uh, see, see kind of the greater London, uh, you know, which team has taken over, which this, you know, all those balls are players. Um, in the horizon, which team is taken? You can see by the colors um, which team is dominant in which parts of the of the city. So that's kind of that's 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 the gameplay. It goes a lot deeper. Your resource is right here, uh, lower left corner. You can like, just reload it. So um, you know this is the resource. You know if you want to advance, play fast, you need to buy it. Um, you know you have a character. Goes quite deep, so it is a MMORPG. Check it out, and, and uh, you get a better sense. Um, what we wanted to do with the game, I'm trying to tie this with uh, with the theme of today, the gamification, and, and leave a lot of time for for the questions. Um, but what, what we really wanted to do is is the kind of the initial idea was, you know, how do we take take the social structure of a city, all those relationships those locations, that kind of like a location graph, if you will, like you know, where you live, where your neighbor lives, your neighborhood, those streets, which are, in my opinion, like super exciting, and very few things tap into that, right? So how do you take that and create a cool game on that, that kind of social structure? So it's inherently extremely social game. Um, what you find out is you come back, you know, from work, uh, back to home, it's like 11 p.m. You can open up the client, and there's this always this one guy who's like destroying your stuff. But gladly, I have this other guy here, you know, with me in that neighborhood battling this. So you get this like micro fights, and, and it's consistent, and you start to build a relationship around location. So a new kind of social structures emerge. Normally, you know your spouse, your kids, I hope, Maybe your neighbor, right? Um, but but you start to kind of get a get a sense of the of, of the neighborhood of your city wherever you work. And and unlike you know people think that okay you have a location based game where you understand the kind of the, your environment, right? <coughs> you need to run around the streets. You know somebody told me that you know it's a great game, but what if it rains? But most people where they play the game is actually when they're at home when they're at work. So if you look at your day, you know, wherever it takes you, you don't necessarily go out of your way because of the game, but it, you actually play it, uh, build it around those relationships where you actually stay office, at work, you know, your couch. Uh, and, and because you can actually, we have kind of, it's a combination of the location, but you can't be literal with it. Otherwise, there's no distribution. Then you would need a critical mass around every, little, you know, every neighborhood, but you, you can move, so it's a balance. You can also virtually move around. So, so that was, that was kind of the, a um, lot, of, lot of the ideas, uh, how, do you, how do you, in a game space, how do you understand the, the environment around you, um, where you spend most of the time, and it, it also ties, ties, with, ties in with the, whether it's the physical world or the internet, right? So because we spend a lot of our time there too. So, so kind of build, you know, bring the games out into the real world, and it's, you know, we each of us define the real world in, in a very, very different way. So it, it's not only the, the box. Um, we make deeper gameplay. It's, you know, like I said, it's, it's mainly for gamers. But if you nowadays look at games, um, you could argue that you don't even call people who play social games. You probably shouldn't call them gamers. Uh, it's it's almost like people who listen to music 
they are not, you know, music listeners or musicians or whatever. So it has really kind of blown up uh, through mobile devices, um, and, and they're going to the, you know, games or whether it's gamification. I think that's that's kind of the um, side effect of that. You know, people start to understand and see see it all around us. But games have become part of their everyday. So that's what also what we do, try to tie those in. And we're just you know, very game heavy, not so much in the gamification space, but, but how does it, how does it, it it's kind of looking, looking, the, looking it from the other, other, other direction, you know? um, not necessarily how do, you, how do you bring games into your, um, you know, whether it's health or something else. We try to look at how do you bring the real life into the game. So, so that's that's uh, that's Shadow Cities in, in a nutshell. That's that's kind of how we think about the space. But what I really wanted to do is, is kind of like based on who's here, uh, you know, try to answer or have a discussion around this space. I think it's still you know much like up and coming. You know, you know all of all the the whole space is about to explode and exploding. I guess so. So and it's very. Emerging. I've heard a lot of companies think about how to tie the location in there, but I, I think it can be much more than just I'm going to use Facebook Places, it's pretty cool, or check-in models that, that we have seen. I think there's much more to it, and uh, I think it's it's a uh, kind of very naive uh, thought that you know that's that's all all there's to it. So um, and with that, so you know, we'd love to have a discussion around the topic. Yeah. <laughs> 
did that, the public used the crime based gang. And I don't, I don't see it as any more socially inappropriate with crime based films. Mm. Um, but there, there's definitely a market out there. And if you have the funnest way of controlling the crack horse, then, uh, you know, <laughs> there's some the tension. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, why, why don't you make it a step further so, maybe so you can actually murder somebody? Then you'll have a hell of a lot of traffic. It is. You'd have to draw the line somewhere. We're on it. Yeah, you know, Apple might have a say on it. But, you know, fashion and it does. How far can you, like, blast somebody? Because, like, you blasted Barbican, but look what you're not in Barbican, right? We have actually, what we have done is. What we have done is we have actually um, kind of lowered and raised the kind of visibility. Yeah. And we have experimented a lot with it. You know, what makes sense right, right now? I'm getting, getting, yeah. yeah, this guy. Um, so. It's up against the creator. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, you know, like, one thing, it, it's great to bring in really low and you can kind of see the 3D and be on the street level, but at the same time, what we have tried to do with this is give you a little more kind of mobility, so you can actually jump to this if I would own, I don't, I don't own this, that one I own. Um, exactly. So I, I can actually <laughs> jump around, now I just jump into this, so once you start to see, um, when you kind of see around, People can build structures and you can move around. So we have tried to give you a virtual mobility to make it easier so you're not so tied into that. We experimented with kind of pushing it really down so you don't see it, see a lot, but, but you can see quite far. So, I, so um, you know, the 700 meters. Can you be missing the point a little bit about, about locality, if I can like, you know, jump around while it's actually It is, it yeah. is, but, but what you do, if, if you really tie it strongly, you basically, you know, it, it, what you create is a distribution problem because you have this empty lobby that, you know, if, if uh, um, you can, you know, you have to be physically there, um, then to be able to have a working game, you need to have 15 people around you. Right? So you can in the middle of London, or in the middle of London, for that matter. But, but, uh, but yeah. So whereas in some other game, say, take any other MMORPG, you know, once you have 500 people, they are all in the same place if the game maker wants them to be, right? So, so that's why it's, it's good to have a little, little mobility. And, and there's different things, you know, you get perks, you have an edge in the game if you're actually physically there. For example, if I'm going to jump around, somebody can slap me back. Whereas if you're physically there, you have an edge. So you can build it into game design. Can, can, you, can you build things like, like um, you know, maybe maybe iPhone notifications for when somebody passes by and you just want to blast him or, you know, something a bit more. We have, for example, what, what we've done is uh, there's a release. No, so they're not playing. <laughs> I installed it. <laughs> so, so um, um, what you, you know, what you can do is, is for example, like when you build stuff, uh, you can a enable notification when somebody attacks them, or, or you know, there's there's several different different uh, possibilities for for kind of building the retention and notifying you. Or, you know, somebody somebody's gonna build a, what we call a beacon, which means that they they build like a gateway from war. So what people do is there's like an enemy territory. Somebody goes in, builds one of those gates, and everybody flood in as soon as they can. So you can notify you know, your friends that, you know, beacon is up, let's go destroy this place. So, so, stuff like that. Last question. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, it's funny, the first point from what you just said as well. Um, obviously, there's like the, you were saying, you're playing the map, we talk to each other mm -hmm. in the game. Um, can I, if I'm in the group, actually finish downloading it, because I've got a crappy 3G, but um, can I talk to other people
out everybody in the UK, or you know, however we kind of, we try to. It, it's kind of like a moving target based on how many people are playing at that one time. But basically, we queue our team so we can kind of strategize and here and across Team 50, have like everybody in that. And what it ties into is uh, we have like a weekly campaign. You know, who's winning and who's losing. So. Sorry? We do, we do. So, so basically, um, you you can go and buy, you know, the, the resource is, is what you what you play. But we have kind of balanced our economy, as in every MMO. What you need to do is make sure that you can play it full well without spending a penny. But but you know, if you want to get like you know, play play really fast and advanced, then you can do that. And especially in the fights, um, when you have a certain time window. Really don't want that guy to win, so you're quite happily uh, paying, you know, whatever it might be. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Oh, by the way, and, and you can check it out at uh, shadowcities.com and uh, um, mine it. Like, what I should do, I, I can like so you know, check out. My, my last name is Impossible, so, so, so if I say it, you probably don't, don't get it. But uh, if you want to you know, chat or you know, talk about the game or anything else, just come and talk to me later on. So I'd be, I'd be happy to uh, you know, share any insights that we might have. Thanks, Bill.